Hello everyone, we will continue the topic about on HANA and in this particular video, we will go for the answer of one of the most important question and so many people ask about this particular question. So it's a right time to firstly answer this particular question. Now, what is the question? HANA means in memory. Yes, we all know HANA means in memory. In memory means RAM. Yes, we all know in case of HANA. Yes, HANA has in memory database. It means we store data in main memory also. Main memory means RAM. Now, we all know RAM is volatile temporary memory. Yes, we are saying yes, SAP HANA has in memory database. We store data in main memory also. Main memory means RAM, but RAM is temporary memory. RAM is volatile in nature. Random access memory, the full form of RAM is random access memory. Yes, RAM is volatile in nature. RAM is a temporary memory. The question is in everyone's mind. Yes, in case of HANA, we are storing data in main memory. Yes, but main memory means RAM. It is volatile in nature. Suppose there is some power failure or there is some system failure or there is some hardware or software failure. It means our data will be completely lost. Then why, why we are going for in memory or main memory concept or RAM concept. So we will go for the detailed explanation of the same. So firstly, the answer is no data will never, never be lost if there is some power failure, system failure, hardware failure, software failure. In case of anything happening to the system, our data will never, never be lost. So we'll firstly go for the backtrack. When I started this particular playlist, so in the first video, when I explained I used SAP HANA has in-memory database. In-memory means RAM, RAM. But I used a specific line that in case of SAP HANA, now data resides in the main memory also. I use the word also. I never, never use the word that Data now resides in main memory only. I never use the word only. The word or statement used is data now resides in main memory also. It means our data is at the disk also. Our data is at the secondary memory also. Because if data is only only in the main memory or only in the RAM, RAM is volatile in nature. RAM is a temporary memory. So if something wrong will happen, our data will be completely lost. So we will go for the detailed answer. How SAP is handling all these things? Yes, data now resides in main memory also to give us the maximum performance. But it does not mean that that data is not on the disk or the secondary memory. So we will understand how SAP is storing the data on the secondary memory or disk also. So we'll go for the detailed answer of the same. So I will firstly go for the answer. Now, to ensure data is not lost, in case of power failure or system crash, SAP HANA uses these two approaches. And using these two approaches, data will be returned to the disk. Disk means secondary storage. So we will go for the first approach. But the first approach SAP HANA is following. 
same data at regular same points. So we have SAP HANA is setting the regular save points. Suppose I will go for simple understanding. Suppose the regular save point is five minutes. Then what will happen? After every five minutes, data will be automatically saved from the main memory to the secondary memory. Nothing needs to be done from our end. It's an automatic regular interval. At that particular time, data will be automatically saved from our primary memory, from the main memory to the secondary memory. Just simply compare it to your phone. Suppose in your phone, you have some photos. So you are automatically taking the setting that these photos or videos will be automatically saved onto your Google storage. So your Google storage, just like your disk or we can say secondary storage, yes. If your phone is not working and if your photos got corrupted, at least you have the backup on the Google storage. Same thing is here. Yes, save data at regular save points. So we have regular save points. Suppose five minutes, two minutes, three minutes, we can say. So at that particular time, at that particular regular interval, data will be automatically saved from the primary memory to the secondary memory or we can say disk. Now we will go for next. What is the next approach? Save data changes on commit. Here we are talking about database changes. Suppose you are changing the value of a particular row. So whenever you will commit, whenever you will commit, so all data changes from the main memory will store to the secondary memory. You all know we have database operations. We are simply going for changing the record. We are going for deleting the record. We are creating the record. So at that time, whenever we will go for commit, so all those data changes from the main memory will be written to the hard disk or we can say secondary memory. So these are the two approaches. Using these two approaches, whatever is in the main memory, it's automatically saved onto the secondary memory also. So if something wrong happened, nothing will happen to our data. And this diagram will give you maximum, maximum clarity. Just see, we have the data in the main memory. Yes, we have data in the main memory. We have automatic save points and it's clearly written. Suppose we have every five minutes or as configured. Suppose we have five minutes or we can say configuration. Suppose we have two minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. So it can be configured. It's automatically set by SAP basis person. Suppose we have done after every 10 minutes. So after every 10 minutes, so data from the main memory will save on to the disk. Now, we have this, suppose we have a database table and we are changing some values to, to a particular record. So whenever we will commit, so after that, whatever the changes will be there, it will be saved from primary memory to the secondary memory. So we have each and everything on the disk or we can say the second, we can say disk or we can say our secondary storage. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered one of the extremely important question and so many people ask about this particular question that from the starting itself you are saying we store data in main memory main memory means ram but ram is volatile ram is a temporary memory it means if something wrong happened to the system our data will be completely lost no data will never never be lost because the statement is written from the starting that we store data in main memory also. Data resides in main memory also. 
it does not mean that we do not have a backup of the data on disk or secondary memory. So to ensure this, SAP is using two approaches. SAP HANA is using two approaches. Save data at regular intervals. So we can say regular save points. That save point is customized. We can go for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So at that particular regular interval, data will be automatically saved from the primary memory to secondary memory. And whatever is your data changes, yes, whenever you will commit, all those data changes will saved into the secondary memory. So there will not be any data loss whenever if something wrong will happen. Now I will go for one of the important point. If you remember, yes, if, if you do not have the knowledge, no problem. In basics of SAP and ABAP playlist, this is our first playlist. In this playlist, I covered the difference between ECC system, SAP business suit on HANA, and SAP business suit for on HANA. Now we are covering a BAP on HANA playlist. It means same the video I need to put or I need to keep into this particular playlist also. Because once we start with the practical part, you must know, yes, what is S4H system, what is SAP business suit on HANA. So same these two videos, I will keep into this ABAP on HANA playlist also, but one of the important point. Now we all know or we are aware about the features of SAP HANA. It means I will go for some additional information also for the comparison of these three systems. It means I will keep these two videos as it is in ABAP on HANA playlist because everyone should know what is ECC system, what is SOH and what is S4H system because so many people are directly learning at this ABAP on HANA. So I will keep these two videos into this particular playlist. Plus I will go for additional information also because now we all know what are the HANA features. So that's it into this particular video. Thank you.